to Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number seven from the um, <clears throat> June 2024 Pure Mathematics P3 International A Level and Excel exam. And here we have a question which is dealing with trig identities and trig equations. So we have to uh, show that tan x is equal to negative 2 minus root 3. Given that root 2 times sine of x plus 45 degrees equals cosine of x minus 60 degrees. So it seems apparent here that we have to use what are called the double angle formulae in order to try to solve this problem. Um, actually, not the double angle formulae, the um, addition formulae. Okay, so I have from the formula sheet this, which by the time you take the exam, you should have be able to do this without even looking at the formula sheet. But here is here are the addition formula for sine and cosine, a plus stroke minus b. So if we want to uh, try to simplify this so it looks like that, the first thing we need to do is apply these expansions using the addition formula. So important thing that we should realize is the sine of x plus 45 is not, it's not the sine of x plus the sine of 45. It's not like sine is something multiplying this. Now this is an integral part of the sine function. Sine by itself doesn't mean anything in maths, right? So it has to be the sine of an angle. So this is the sine of this angle. And for us to expand it, we have to use this formula. Right, so this is something that a lot of students in the beginning they just think you can just say oh that's like like it's like a uh, outside you have a product and you have to multiply by both things in the product. No, this is the sine of this angle. It doesn't mean sine times this bracket. No, it's the sine of this angle. Sine of the bracket is the angle that we're dealing with. So now, if we want to expand this, we have root two times the sine of. You see, this is this is like our a and this is like our b plus b. The sine of x, sine of a times the cosine of b, so cosine of 45. And if there's a plus here, there's also a plus between them. So plus, and the root 2 will multiply by this as well, because it'll be root 2 times both of them. It's like, you know, it's going to be root 2 times expansion, so I'll just expand it with the root 2 there. And then we'll have um, the other side here, we've got cosine of x, so cosine of x, root 2 times the cosine of x times the sine of b, so the sine of 45. Okay, the sine of 45, and that's equal to, and here we got cosine of x minus 60. So we're going to use cosine of a minus b. In this case, our x is a, and our b is 60, x minus 60. So we're going to have cosine a cosine b, so cosine x cosine 60, Cosine x times cosine of 60. Now, if there's a minus between them, here we get a plus. So you're going to have plus, we'll have sine of x times sine of 60. Sine of a times sine of b, sine of x times sine of 60. Okay, so now let's try to simplify this such that we can end up with something that looks more like that. So cosine of 45 is root 2 over 2. Okay, you can use your calculator to work that out something in one of those exact values that by now you should have understood. So sine x times root 2 over 2 plus, and this is root 2 times cosine x, and sine of 45 is also root 2 over 2. And this is cosine of 60 is a half, so there'll be a half times cosine of x, and the sine of 60 is root 3 over 2 plus root 3 over 2 sine x. Now if you didn't know those exact values, no problem. Okay, now if I multiply both sides by 2, then all these will cancel out. Okay, I have root 2 times root 2, which is 2, so I have 2 sine x. And I have root 2 times root 2, which is 2, so this is going to be 2 cosine x is equal to, and here I'm going to, um, that's, I've multiplied by 2, those, those are gone, I've got cosine x plus root 3 times sine of x. Okay. So at this stage, what I can do is, um, I could at this stage divide both sides by cosine x, okay, in which cases would be two tan two tan x plus two equals one plus root three tan x. 
Okay, or if I if, if you want to do something slightly different, we could bring the sine x's together on one side and the cosine x's together on the other side. That might be a bit more. Um, both will be fine. But I'll just I'll do that. I'll feel more comfortable doing that. So I have two sine x minus root three sine x equals cosine x minus two cosine x. So now I'm going to take uh, sine x as common. Here, so I'll end up with here uh, sine of x times 2 minus root 3. And here cosine of x is common. So cos in fact, this is going to be minus cosine x minus 2 cosine x is minus cosine x. Okay, now I can divide both sides by cosine x. Right, so I'll end up with, um, if I divide both sides by cosine x, I'll have uh, tan x times 2 minus root 3 is equal to minus 1. And then I can divide both sides by 2 minus root 3. So I have tan x equals minus 1 over 2 minus root 3. So tan x is equal to minus 1 over 2 minus root 3. Now we have to show that it equals this here. So what we need to do here is we need to rationalize the denominator. So I can multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 2 plus root 3 conjugate of this, it's opposite of that. Okay, if I do that, then that will rationalize the denominator and hopefully it will get exactly what we have to be, have to show. That's going to give you minus 2 minus root 3 over, so when you expand this bracket here, you're going to square these two terms, you're going to have 2 times 2, that gives you 4. The middle term will become 0, that's why we multiplied it by its conjugate. You have 2 root 3 minus 2 root 3, which is 0. And the last term will be minus root 3 times root 3, which is 3. So 4 minus 3, which is 1. So you end up with minus 2 minus root 3, which is exactly what we had to show. Tan x equals minus 2 minus root 3. So there's the answer to this question. So tan x is equal to minus 2 minus root 3. And there's the answer to part A. Okay, and that's completed. Now for part B. So part B says hence or otherwise. So they gave you a choice here, hence or otherwise. Now normally the hence method is normally the easier way to do it, right? They're kind of pushing you to that way. Sometimes the question will say hence only, in which case they will requ require you to use the previous answer. So hence means using this result that we just, uh, you know, proved. So if we compare these two, they're kind of like, Look familiar to this, except for the x plus 45 has been replaced by 2 theta, and the x minus 60 has been replaced by 2 theta minus 105. So if we want to try to do this using this uh, hence method, what we have to do is we have to kind of relate these two together. So I can say from this that 2 theta is the same as x plus 45. I can also say that 2 theta minus 105 degrees is the same as x minus 60. Okay, so if I rearrange these um, such that I make x the subject, so I can use this. Okay, in this case, I'll have x equals 2 theta minus 45. And in this case, I'll have x equals 2 theta, I'll have minus 105 plus 60. Minus, 100, uh, minus 105 plus 60 is going to give me um, minus 45. Just to make sure, negative 105 plus 60. Oops. Negative 105 plus 60 gives us negative 45. So what I can do is, I can replace my 2 theta, I can, repl I, can, I can solve this equation here. Both of them, x is 2 theta minus 45. So we confirmed it from, from both of them, that x is 2 theta minus 45. Okay, so you, you didn't have to do it from both of them, but you can see that it works out. So what I can do now is I can solve the equation, the tan of 2 theta minus 45, is equal to minus 2 
minus root 3y because x is equal to 2 theta minus 45. When I solve this equation, I will have then uh, solved how to find the values that I want for theta out of solved this equation here. Okay, so this uh, can be replaced by this. Okay, so now what I can do is I can take inverse tan of both sides. So I have 2 theta minus 45 is equal to the inverse tan of negative 2 minus root 3. And we can work out what that is. So we have inverse tan of negative 2 minus root 3. And that gives us negative 75 degrees. So you got 2 theta minus 45 degrees equals negative 75 degrees. This is our principal solution. However, we've got to think about where we're going to start and where we're going to end. So we have theta is less than or equal to, sorry, we have zero is less than or equal to theta, which is less than 180. So I need to use, I need to solve for this equation so I can change this to two theta minus 45. So this is going to become, if you multiply two, uh, zero by two, you get um, zero minus 45. So you're going to start from negative 45. Okay, this is out of our range, by the way. And you're going to end at 360 minus 45. That's going to be 350. Okay, 2 times three, two times 180 is 360. 360 minus 45 is 350. So that's where we start and that's where we end collecting our angles. So for tangent, how do you find the other angles uh, that share the same tangent ratio as this? Well, the tan curve just repeats every 180. So I just have to add 180 to each of these angles. So I have... Minus 75, I have to add 180 degrees to that. That's going to give me 105. And then I'm going to have 105, I'm going to add 180 to that. And that's going to give me 285. All right? And then I'm going to take 285. If I add 180 to that, of course, I'm going to be out of my range. So I know that 2 theta minus 45 degrees is equal to 105. And it's also equal to 285. So now I have to solve for theta. So I've got to say theta is going to be 105 plus 45 divided by 2 and also 285 plus 45 divided by 2. So theta is going to be, that's going to be 150 divided by 2 which is 75 degrees and this is going to be 285 plus 45 that's going to be 320, 330 divided by 2. Okay, so we have 285 plus 45 divided by 2, that gives me 165. So I have 100, let me just see if I move that meter there. So I have 75 degrees and 165 degrees. Those are the two solutions for this problem. Okay, so this is using the hence method. Okay, as this also has otherwise, I'm going to show you also the otherwise method. So this would be what we call the method that wouldn't use part A. This is otherwise. Here they gave us a choice. So for, for us to do this, we would I would start off in a very similar way to what we did in part A. I would basically expand this. So I have root 2 times sine of 2 theta equals, and this will be, if you remember the, the, the rule, cosine of the angle times the sine of the, the second angle all right, if there's a minus, you have the opposite sign. If it's a cosine A plus B, you'll end up with a plus between them. And then it'll be, sorry, times the cosine of the second angle. Cosine A times cosine B. So it's cosine 2 theta plus times cosine 105. And there's a minus, so plus, and then you'll have sine of 2 theta times sine of 105 degrees. Okay, so now there's no need for us to make them into single angles here because they're all double angles, they're all the same. So there's no issue there. We can just try to now solve this. Now what we can do here is we can, at this stage, we can divide by cosine of 2 theta. All right, and that will cause us to get tan of 2 theta. So we have root 2 times the tan of 2 theta equals, and this will become the cosine of 105, because if you divide by cosine of 2 theta, this will become, cancel out, and you have plus, and this will become the tan of 2 theta, okay, and then times the sine of 105. All right, so now we can see we have root 2 times the tan of 2 theta 
minus the tan of 2 theta times the sine of 105 is equal to the cosine of 105 degrees. So I can take out tan of 2 theta as common in these two terms. And I'm left with root 2 minus the sine of 105 degrees is equal to the cosine of 105 degrees. I can divide both sides by root 2 of sine 105, root 2 minus sine of 105, so I have cosine 105 degrees divided by root 2 minus the sine of 105 degrees. So I can say 2 theta equals, and again, the same um, thing with the angles. We know that we can go, theta has to be between 0 and 180. So we have 2 theta. So we have to gather all the angles between 0 and 360 here. Okay, because in the end we have this 2 theta equals. So we can now um, find the first angle. So we do inverse cosine, inverse, uh, inverse tan of, so we shift tan, okay, of this, which is cosine 105 degrees, okay, um, divided by root 2, don't forget to put the space, and then minus the sine of 105. We don't want the this to be also under the square root, so be careful of that. Um, close the bracket, and that gives us minus 30 degrees. That's the principal solution. Okay, we can, we're going to start from 0 here. So we add 180, that gives us 150. We add 180 to this, that gives us uh, 330. Right? If you add 180 to minus 30, we get 150. You add 180 to 150, we get 330. 150 plus 180. It's going to be 13, 330, and we have to divide by 2, so th this is out of our range, so we're going to have 150 divided by 2, which is 75, and 330 divided by 2, which is going to be 165, 330 divided by 2, just make sure, 330 divided by 2, 165 degrees, and those are the two solutions, which are the same two solutions as we got um, using the hence method. Generally, the hence method is easier, okay? But you have to kind of spot this relationship. So they gave you like a escape route here to, to be able to use otherwise. Um, and that is basically very similar to what we did in the part one of the question, or part A of the question. Okay, so that completes this question, question number seven, from the June 2024 International A-Level Pure Mathematics P3 paper. Other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that will appear on the top of the screen at the end of this video. Other questions from the topic of trig identities and equations, you will find here in the playlist. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link and the video at the top here will show you how to use my channel to find what you're looking for efficiently. Thank you for watching and see you soon.